Hmm. Sometimes spending less, you're getting more. And I was trying to think about what that actually means. And I thought we would talk about it on this video. Welcome you guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about coach handbags. We're going to talk about a couple things. We're going to talk about some of the coach bags I've been seeing at boutiques online that I've just been loving and I wanted to chat through it with you guys. Secondly, I want to talk about some of my personal favorite coach bags and how I kind of found ways to elevate it to give it that luxury feel. And I thought it'd be interesting to kind of share that with you guys. If you guys have never seen any of my videos, thank you so much for clicking. I just love handbags. I love luxury handbags. I love contemporary. I'm a believer of mixing and matching. Sometimes we want to have, you know, different price points when it comes to handbags so we can enjoy different things. And I always say like, you can find a really good contemporary handbag for a lot less, but you're still getting that luxury quality or getting the luxury craftsmanship. So I wanted to talk through that. But most importantly, I just love handbags. I love fashion. I love anything related. And on this channel, I do unboxings, comparisons, reviews. We go through, you know, the pros and the cons of everything. And we kind of just chat through the details. So if you guys love things like that as well, then please consider subscribing. So let's start off with some of my favorite handbags when it comes to coach. So I have a lot of coach handbags just collected from the years. Some of them I've given to family um, and then other, some of them I've kept for myself. But most importantly, there's a couple that I just will always have in my collection because I think they're so cute and I wanted to share that. With you. And that is these two bags over here. This is my Cassie 19 in the mini size. So this one has been discontinued. I honestly have no idea why, because I still to this day think that this bag to Coach is kind of like how the Dior saddlebag is to Dior, or like how the Pochette Accessoire is to Louis Vuitton. So I'm actually a little shocked that they no longer have this, but I know they have similar styles. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll drop some below. I and mean, you can still find this, I think, on like Poshmark and like other pre-love sites. Um, but yeah, like for me, this is a perfect bag because it doesn't have any kind of branding necessarily besides, I mean, if you know the Coach C, it has a back pocket. You guys know I need a back pocket. It has a handle and you can wear this as a crossbody. I added a gold chain because I just like it to be a little extra, but not too much. So I just think it's so cute. And personally, this back can be dressed up, can be dressed down. It's durable, it's made well, it's soft and squishy, but yet semi-structured. It has you no know, compartments inside for you to be able to organize your stuff. All right, just like the Pochette Matisse and Louis Vuitton. So to me, this bag I purchased on sale, I think it was like 200. Such a good deal, and I'll be real, and you guys know I've mentioned this before, is Coach Bag's quality is actually a lot better than some of my designer pieces that I pay thousands for. So, you know, I, I just wanted to make this video to let people know that just because you're paying more for a brand or for a product doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting this, you know, 100% quality, you're paying for the name basically. And that's what it is. And that's okay. Because <laughs> believe me, I pay for names. I'm, I, I do that all the time. And we all do, right? That's why if you're watching this channel, you probably love designer, you love contemporary everything and all of that stuff related. So yeah, I get it. But, you know, don't disregard the fact that Coach just has some amazing, amazing quality. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm a believer of mixing and matching. I think it's good to have contemporary brands. It's good to have designer. And I want to show you my trick of how to mix and match in a little bit. But yes, I just had to give a little mention to this little Cassie because it's honestly such a good one. Second one is this Coach Cashin Mini. I made a video review on this. If you guys are interested, I'll drop it below. So many of you guys love this bag, so it makes me so happy. And I know a lot of you had purchased this bag because it's just so adorable. And it's like the Louis Vuitton one. I can't remember the name. I'm going to pop it over here. But this one, I think I got for like less than 200, like 150 maybe. I can't remember exactly. Got it in the sale. 
but again it comes with you know a crossbody bag you can carry it like this wear it like this I like to wear it high with like a pea coat or you know like I've been I this is kind of like my winter bag not to say you can't use it in the summer I think size wise it's so cute for summer but whenever I think like forest green I I just think of fall winter things like that so I personally use this for the winter but it has feet on the bottom and it's so nice like this leather is just buttery soft so definitely one of my favorites I'm so glad I picked this up and so those are my two favorite coach bags I just wanted to give those bags a mention but I want to talk about some of the new bags that they currently have so you guys know I actually had the coach pillow tabby in the not the 18 size I forgot the bigger size um right over here if you guys want to see that video I'll drop it below I did unfortunately sell that the reason I sold this and I went through like should I sell it should I keep it I love it I still think to this day it's one of the best coach bags minus the ones I just shared but for me personally and my style and my preference it was too bulky because I like crossbody bags you guys know that if you watch my channel I mean a shoulder bag is cute too and I use that one specifically for shoulder but like when I wore it, it just like puckered out a little too much. And I just felt like I didn't necessarily like that feel. Um, whereas if I wore crossbody, it also like protruded too much out. It was just a little too like, like bulky, I guess, for my liking. Um, but I think something like that in the small size will be perfect. And you guys know I mentioned this again all the time is I love, 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 love the 18 and that's the mini coach pillow it is honestly so 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 cute um i was so close to getting it so i'll pop it here like i mentioned in my spring wish list if you guys are interested i'll drop that below as well but i really wanted it in a fun color and i was debating because you guys know i love lilac between that and then the banana yellow because it's so adorable or it's like a it's like a light yellow like a pastel so almost like a banana cream pie kind of thing it's just so delicious um so i went to go try it on the store i love the yellow because it has gold hardware thought about getting it but i just don't know if yellow matches like any of my outfits you guys know i picked up the jackamoos bag recently in the yellow unfortunately it was damaged i had to send it back but that one was like a pale, pale, neutral yellow. So it matched with jeans, you know, it matched with anything. But that one is, this one is brighter. So when I wear it, I just think it doesn't match like my skin tone. Therefore, I just did, I wasn't sure about it. And then I wanted the lilac one, but then the pewter like hardware against the purple, I felt like it didn't match with each other. You got this like pastel -y purple and then you have this intense like gunmetal silver hardware I just felt like it didn't go like it needed either like a light silver with it or it needed a, a gold hardware in my opinion if that were the case I would have gotten it in an instant I think it's a great price point I think that one retails for $3.98 and at that time at the coach stores they were doing like if you buy one of those you actually get like a wallet or something like that so I mean it's a great deal but I'm really trying my best to curate my collection more because I don't want to get bags that are just going to sit there because I have limited space. So if there's something that I feel like I'm not sure about, I, I usually just will not pick it up. But I nonetheless love the bag. Those are the reasons why I did not pick up one of those. But I still will say if you guys are interested in a little poofy pillow bag, oh my gosh, it's such a good option. Now the bag that I am considering though is the Coach Madison pillow bag. I'll pop it over here. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Now I saw it in person once, but I didn't like take a good look. I think I just like walked by it, but I, you guys know I have a soft spot for squishy bags. I mean, I love my Chanel 19 because of that reason. So I know I'll love any kind of squishy bag as long as it's soft and it's not like a hard, leather where it just looks bulky but it's not soft to the touch these are different right coach leather is honestly out of the world but for the madison so okay so the reasons why i love it is number one the pillowness number two the silhouette i love the gold chain when you open it my favorite part is when you open the bag there's this like front inside flap 
that allows you to put like keys, chapstick, lipstick, like, you know, grab and go stuff. And then you have your middle compartment. I think your main compartment, you can put your bigger or bulkier things. And I think there's even like a back pocket and you have a backpack pocket in the back of the bag, not just inside, right? So outside and inside. So all in all, and minimal branding, because I'm not a fan of coach like monogram personally. I much prefer like, like the Cassie, how it's just very plain and very subtle. Like that's kind of my thing when it comes to coach. But that bag is so cute. Now, the only thing I think that might, I might not like and stop me from using is I need to like try it on and see if it's bulky, right? Because you guys know, like I returned the pillow. I feel like if that one is bulky too when I wear it, or if it's too heavy, like that's not gonna work out for me just because I know myself like heavy bags, I just get so lazy. I'm all about like, that's part of the reason why I like Louis Vuitton so much is the canvas is just so light. So like my bum bag, I feel like I have nothing, I'm not carrying anything. So, you know, I just feel like if a bag is too heavy, I probably won't get it, but I don't know, I haven't tried it on, but how beautiful. And the colors, like I love the coral color. I think if I were to choose a color right now, I would debate between the coral and the creamy white, which I think they call chalk. Um, those are the two, again, like coral, I just don't know if it matches any of my outfits, but I nonetheless love it for the summer. Um, and then obviously the chalk will match everything. So again, I wanna try it on, but I'm just kind of waiting because Coach always releases the best colors. And I feel like this bag is fairly new and eventually they're gonna release probably other colors I might like more. So it's probably better just to wait for that. And honestly, my whole thing is Coach bags always go on sale too. So, or Rakuten does sales that you can kind of stack. So I kind of will wait for those um, those opportunities before I pay something full price. But yeah, okay, so there's another bag called the Soft Coach Tabby right over here. And I love this one because, okay, if you guys know, what does this remind you of? Drop a comment below if you know. But doesn't this remind you of the Louis Vuitton Diane? Is it Diane bag? Diana bag? But it has that like strap the canvas strap but the silhouette is very similar it's so similar because this one has a handle I, I think it's removable as well has like a back pocket that it's a zipper pocket though but still nonetheless a back pocket and the opening flap is very similar in the style it just looks the same and then this one retails for 450 so the die the louis vuitton diana bag or diane bag what is it called I think that one retails for 2000 something. So I mean like, I mean personally, I would pick the coach bag. And you guys know, I love this yellow. They have other colors too, but how fun is this? I definitely, I think one of my, uh, another top on my coach list. So there's another one I absolutely love. Now this one is called the Soft Tabby Crossbody, which I think it's very, it's not the same as the one I just mentioned. This one is a little bit smaller and I just think it's cute because of the size. And I love that it's semi-structured, but not structure structure and it's a little squishy. And it kind of reminds me of a Dior belt bag um, in the men's collection over here. It's, I don't know why it has that same like vibe to me. This one's cute because in the back of the bag, it has two loops. So you can actually take the strap itself, put it in the back and almost like the Aria bag when it comes to Senref. So you can wear it as a crossbody. You can wear it as a belt bag and the size is big enough, but not ginormous. So I just think it's so, so, so cute. And again, I've never seen this one in person, but I definitely want to check it out because I think that, you know, for $4.95, this could be a really good alternative if you didn't want to spend, you know, money when it comes to belt bags, like the Louis Vuitton belt bag or the Gucci, you know, like this is like a good trial to see if maybe if a bum bag style type bag is right for you. And then if you want to invest in a designer piece, it's a good way. And that's what I always say, right? Sometimes try out the contemporary version before you invest in a designer piece, because often I buy bags thinking they'll be perfect for my everyday. And I realize I, not that I don't love them, but they're not necessarily what I had envisioned when it comes to functionality or, you know, um, what the way it looks on me so it's just a little different right so i always like to try out contemporary versions and then get a feel of this type of bag and if it works out i already know it's going to work out 
then I'm okay spending a little bit more and getting that designer piece. So that's just kind of like how I think of um, ways to try things without you know, putting too much effort in spending so much. Those are the bags that I've been loving from Coach and I just thought I would share. And then last portion of this video, I just wanna show you what I've been doing with some of my Coach bags right now. So you guys ready for this? Oh, here's my, again, my Cassie 19. The only thing I don't like about this bag, and I've mentioned too, is I don't love the strap. I just don't like thin straps too much. I think it's just the way it looks on me. I'm just not a, not that I don't use it. I'm just not a fan. So this one is just the same leather strap. Nothing's wrong with it. I mean, I actually use this strap on some of my other um, bags. So it's not that I don't like it. I just don't like love it. I feel like, you know, there's other options for this. I purchased a Dior strap and every time i think about how much this is i kind of just want to faint <laughs> but i haven't been getting the use out of it like i thought i would just because you know like i mean i should start using my saddle i still really love it i just haven't had opportunity to really use it actually tried using this on another dior bag but it was a little too short so i thought what if i were to use it on something that wasn't a dior piece and honestly I kind of went back and forth. Like, can I mix contemporary designer straps? Is it weird? And the answer is absolutely not weird. I mean, you can do whatever you want. And I feel like it just elevates it. So instead of buying a Dior bag, buy a Dior strap. So here is what this looks like. And uh, like, how cute is this? And I mean, I could take this off if I didn't want it to be too much, but I just think it's so cute and honestly it's not like the dior is that obvious anyways but how cute is this it just it not only elevates my cassie but it also gives the strap like a little bit of classic vibes you know what i mean so how cute okay another look is using this and my fendi strap ah i just love it so much so I guess my point is be creative. You don't need to necessarily buy a Fendi bag. You can just buy an accessory and put it on another type of bag. And it doesn't have to be coach. It could, I use this on my Senra Voluna. I made a video about that. I'll drop it below if you guys are interested. But I use that one on that too. And I like higher straps anyway. So to me, like with the size of the 19, the coach Cassie 19 and the strap, it just looks complete to me I just I don't know like I just love it so much I think it's such a cute thing so yeah get creative like it's okay to match contemporary and designer and you don't need to only collect designer bags I think if you're a bag collector a bag lover like myself you appreciate like bags of all types right so that's why I wanted to make this video because I thought it'd be fun to share and talk about some of the favorite coach bags but also just share ways to get a little creative because Price increases are real right now, right? It's just, it's so crazy to me because in 2020, they weren't even this bad. So yeah, you can get more for your money. And now it's like, you really got to think about like, do you want to spend that much? And that's, I, I like, that's why I kind of took a step back. And I really want to make sure that I absolutely know that bag's going to work out for me to love it before I invest that money in it. And in the meantime, I'm going to mix and match and create my own designer bags. So that is pretty much it, you guys. Draw me a comment below. Do you guys like this look or do you think it's tacky? I want to know what you guys think. Also, let me know what is your favorite coach bag right now? What do you, how do you feel about coach? Do you guys like it? I've always want to hear your thoughts. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm going to drop it over here. Come by, say hello, and let's chat about handbags, luxury, and anything and everything related and if you guys like this video please consider giving me a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you in my next one bye